Hi, my name is Mohamed Suhail and welcome to our presentation on generalizable patch-based neural rendering, a new image-based rendering method that can render novel views of a scene without any fine-tuning. This is joint work with Carlos Estevez, Leonid Siegel, and Amish Makari. Recently, Lightfield Neural Rendering, or LFNR, proposed an image-based rendering method that can exploit epipolar geometry to achieve remarkable results in view synthesis. LFNR, however, does not generalize to unseen scenes and training it on a single scene is computationally expensive. Our method can synthesize novel views of scenes from a set of input images without requiring any scene-specific optimization. Our method is based on the idea that a pixel in an image can be rendered using just information from its epipolar patches. Our model is composed of three transformer-based modules. The Visual Feature Transformer module learns to extract visual features by combining information from patches along different reference views. Specifically, given a target pixel, we sample it epipolar points and extract patches around these points. Given these epipolar patches, the transformer takes as input a sequence of patches corresponding to the same depth of projection. The patch features are constructed by concatenating the linear patch embedding, light field encoding of the rate through the epipolar point, an encoding of the depth of projection, and relative camera orientation. These features act as input to the visual feature transformer. The output of the transformer is a set of refined features for each epipolar patch with information aggregated from other patches at the same depth of projection. The next transformer in our model is the epipolar feature transformer. This transformer takes as input the refined patch features from the visual feature transformer. The objective of this transformer is to aggregate the patch features along the epipolar line in each reference view. To aggregate the epipolar patch features, we use an attention-based aggregation function similar to LFNR where the attention weights of each epipolar patch feature is estimated with respect to the target ray encoding using a softmax-based function. The final transformer in our model is the reference view transformer. This transformer combines the aggregated epipolar features from multiple reference views to predict the color of the target ray. To improve the generalization capability of our model, we introduce a ray canonicalization transform. This canonicalization is critical since structure from motion methods can only estimate camera extrinsic up to an arbitrary similarity transform. To canonicalize the light field encoding of the ray, we first define a local coordinate frame centered at each ray. This local frame is determined using the ray direction v and the camera up vector y. Given these two vectors, the canonicalization transform is obtained as follows. First, we compute v dash, the unit ray direction vector. Then, we estimate y dash, the component of y orthogonal to v dash. Then, we estimate the rotation matrix RC, where the columns are the cross product of a unit vector in the direction of y dash and v dash, the unit vector of y dash and v dash. Using this rotation matrix, we estimate the canonicalization transform TC as shown here, where small t is the translation component of the camera extrinsic. Ray representation estimated after applying this canonicalization will be invariant to similarities. We now present experimental results of our model. Prior works in generalizable rendering models used a varied range of trained test setting to evaluate their method. Mm -hmm. To ensure fair comparison, we present results under two different settings. In the first setting, we train on a strict subset of the IBRNet training set, consisting of 37 LLFF scenes and 131 IBRNet collected scenes, and test on the real forward-facing dataset, a subset of Shiny, and the Blender dataset. We show comparisons against LLFF, IBRNet, and GeoNerf. We also present results of an IBRNet model trained on the subset of train scenes used in our setting. Please note that GeoNerf is trained on a larger train set and also incorporated depth information during training. In the second setting, we train our model on DTU and test on unseen DTU scenes as well as the Blender dataset. We show comparisons against MVS NERF, IBRNet, and Pixel NERF. Here, we show additional results on unseen scenes as rendered by our model. These renderings were generated by training a model with the showcase scenes removed from the train set. Thank you for listening. For more details, code, results, and pre-trained weights, please visit our webpage.